Eric Darden. I'm the horticulture manager of the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. I'm really looking forward to showing you all around the festival today. For somebody who's never been to the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival, how would you describe it? What to get them in the door? Well, boy, for somebody who's never been here, it's a tough event to describe because it's so big. First of all, it's 90 days, so you have a huge amount of time that you can get here. Um, and it has so many elements. First of all, it has gardening. You have probably a half million extra beautiful flowers. As you can see behind me, you can't walk around this place without seeing beautiful flowers. We have something for Disney fans. We have 70 Disney character topiaries. We'll return our Disney characters, and bring them to life with plants. If someone is a real foodie, we have 14. If someone's a real foodie, we have 13 outdoor kitchens this year where we theme the kitchens along with our gardens so the guests can come and see, kind of farm to table idea, see the plants growing, and then eat something including that type of plant. And finally, for your kids, we have playgrounds, several playgrounds around here, and then a butterfly house for everyone. How about for those who uh, who are festival veterans? Who would uh, how would you how, what would bring what would bring them back? Well, if you're a festival veteran, one of the things we're going to bring you back is our new character topiaries, um, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. We have new bands this year, and that's always exciting um, for the people who, who love the music on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, festival Center, we have some new offerings. We have new guest speakers we've never had before. We have a brand new outdoor kitchen this year. We have 13 outdoor kitchens. So if you're a festival veteran of either festival, this is a great festival to come to. Um, and we have, I said, half a million extra bedding plants all around the park. Nice. What would you say is the biggest challenge year after year in making this thing come to life? The biggest challenge every year is topping the year before. <laughs> Undoubtedly, that's, that's the most difficult part.